Hey guys, Biggie here, and welcome to another Skyrim Special Edition Wabajack Modless Quick Look. This time we have Aurora by author Phoenix, who has done some other mod lists that I've done videos on, namely the Phoenix flavor, as well as Legends of the Frost. So Aurora, we're on version 1.0, Release Candidate 2, is an upcoming mod list. You guys can test out the current version through Phoenix's Discord, which I will link down below. But essentially, this is going to be a visual only mod list, as well as the visual baseline for the next version of the Phoenix flavor. So we'll be spending some time checking out the graphics of this list. I've already killed a few enemies here. I just had to, so I could get some armor. And uh, I mean, the combat, is, everything is going to be vanilla Skyrim, the vanilla Skyrim that you know and love. No perk addi additions, nothing like that. And let's check this out. I mean, all of the graphics are going to be pretty upscaled. Looking pretty nice here with the uh, tent as well. Nice looking little kettle. Nice looking blood. Very nice. And taking a look at the exterior, it looks gorgeous. So this mod list is about 68 gigabytes for the install alone. So roughly uh, twice that size for the install plus download. There are going to be 45 active ESMs slash ESPs. So you're going to have a lot of space to customize this mod list, make it your own. Always mod at your own discretion. Don't go asking the mod list author if something breaks. But yeah, I mean, there are going to be a few little visual things that I'm sure will get patched in the coming weeks. Like we see some issue here with the water lot, but keep in mind, this is an upcoming list. Things like that tend to get patched. We'll just do some exploring here. I've been hunting and fishing in these parts for years. Speaking of water, you do have realistic water too, which is quite a fan favorite. And the default ENB that I'm using here is the Rudy ENB, but there looks to be three other options in the mod organizer. You do have Ebony, Ruvak Dahman, as well as Vanilla ENB2. So you do have some options there. Some pretty good looking salmon. I've been hunting and fishing in these parts for years. Okay, you already said that. Let's go and check out Anise's cabin. So most stuff, including the UI, is going to be vanilla. So if you guys uh, want to add your own UI overhauls, you can certainly do that. Audio hasn't really been touched too much or anything like that either. Like I said, mostly graphics, textures, models, faces, things like that. Right, you have Majestic Mountains. The main graphical mod is going to be Skyland all in one. But everything else is going to be touched on, up on. You have happy little trees, simplicity of snow, as we can see in effect there. Let's go over to Riverwood. Now, to me, this looks a lot more visually appealing than, um, for instance, the uh, current version of the Phoenix flavor. Not that the current f version of Phoenix flavor looks bad, but it's kind of look even better, even nicer when this is added and when that Phoenix flavor update gets pushed. So I'm really excited to see that as well. You do have a few things, really a few things in the MCM. You have Sky UI if you want to tweak that. Uh, Ultimate Immersion Toggle, which is what I was using there a second ago. It's going to be your X. But most of this other stuff, you can add in things like Smooth Cam or um, Better Third Person Selector, those sort of mods. Those are going to be pretty easy to add because you do have Animation Motion Revolution 
to keep your legs going as you swing at stuff so you don't just glide around everywhere. And you do have a dynamic animation replacer. So if you want to add your own combat animation mods, a lot of those are pretty plug and play. It wouldn't be too hard to do. But yeah, we're looking fairly nice, fairly nice. All right, let's check out some of the cities. Although the cities are going to be vanilla, we can check out some of the textures that are used for the buildings themselves. <clears throat> Starting with White Run. Creatures are also going to be updated a little bit. It's a variety of creature mods. There is belly aches in there, but then there's also a bunch of other uh, hand chosen creature mods to overhaul other things. I know that um, there was some of El Sopa's creatures, for example. And then we were checking out the armor earlier. Armor and weapons, clothing. You're going to have things like modular armory, some of the rustic mods, as well as Frankly's HD and Amidian Born. City's fine, but we'll be keeping an eye on you. All right, good old White Run. Let us see how it's changed. Very nice lighting mod as well. It uses Lux as well as some of the ENB light compatible mods. I just can't fill an order that size on my own. Why don't you swallow that stubborn pride of yours and ask? That's a nice sign. That's a very nice sign. I'd sooner bend my knee to Ulfric's storm cloak. Besides, they say Helgen got the flowers are really nice. I do like the uh, effect of picking them up. I've said this before, but uh, just overhauling the vanilla hair makes it look so much nicer and lets you keep the vanilla NPCs without them looking ugly. Before, I felt like you kind of needed to get big NPC replacers to make the NPC look nice because there was no good option. But now, look at that. Vanilla hair, but looking very, very good. Come to chat with an old woman. Mister, could you spare a coin? So even the kids have a little bit of added detail to add some diversity. Grand of Talos is looking good. Let's head on inside Dragon's Reach to check out some of the interior lighting. All right. So as you can see there, nice rug and then the lighting ref reflection uh, from the window. That just makes for a very pleasing visual experience. Okay, leave me alone, Irleth. I didn't do anything. Look at that. Let's head over to Solitude. I gotta... Wait. Like, look at the mountains from here. Those are some nice-looking lods. So, Solitude, we'll check that out and probably check out Riften as well. What do you need? You and of course, it's raining. But even in the rain, that's looking very nice. And thankfully, you have faster waiting. It's not going to take 500 years for time to pass. Oh, and it's raining again. Very cool, Skyrim. Very cool. Always got to be raining, keeping the crops growing. I swear, if it starts raining again. Ah. Oh. Everything happens for a reason. So you do have overhauled night sky. 
You have some better star and moon mods. That looks really, really gorgeous. I think, uh, I think this is Cathedral Night Sky. Which is not a bad thing. Very vibrant Aurora. If you've come to solitude to join the league, Man, to look at that. Solitude Gate is looking very juicy as well. And yeah, solitude, the textures are looking good. The lighting from the windows just adds a lot to the atmosphere. See the little torch bugs. How blue is the blue palace? Pretty vanilla blue, which is a good thing. I think the vanilla shade for the blue palace is good. I mean, look at that. Oh, I don't know about you guys, but I'm really excited for the next version of Phoenix flavor. This is looking very good. All right, let's head on over to Riften. While I talk a little bit about who this mod list is for and who it isn't for. So, I mean, I've kind of already mentioned it, but obviously this mod list is going to be geared towards people who either want to play complete vanilla Skyrim, but just with some really, really nice graphics, some of the best graphical mods currently available. I oh, mean, it's going to be really foggy, isn't it? Let's try to get rid of some of that fog. Oh, that's good enough. I think Riften looks pretty nice regardless. But so if you want to play complete vanilla Skyrim with the best graphical mods possible, or you want to add in some of your own mods, but being prepared that if uh, something breaks, you don't go asking the modless author, then this mod list is going to be for you. Now, I do think that uh, even if you're slightly less experienced with... Um, oh my god. There we go. I think even if you're slightly less experienced uh, with modding, it shouldn't be a problem to add a few mods here and there without breaking anything. Because like I said, this is going to be graphical only. So if you add maybe your favorite perk system, magic system, something like that. As long as uh, you put the load order relatively decently, it should be okay. Should. Uh, if something does break, <laughs> you know, not my fault. You know, don't go back to this and say, oh, well, Biggie told me that uh, I could just add a hundred mods to my mod list and nothing is going to happen. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that the likelihood for you to be able to add your own stuff onto this list and have it work is probably better than finding a mod list that has a ton of mods already and trying to add stuff onto it. I'm really getting tired of your excuses. When you borrow the money, you said you Sapphire's looking good too. Sorry, I'm afraid I can't help you much right now. now. Let's go last thing, just clear Ember Shard Mine. Now, if you have no intention of modding this yourself, if you want something already pre-done with all the latest and greatest gameplay mods or really any gameplay mods at all, you don't want to have to deal with anything yourself, then obviously this mod list is not going to be for you. But what I can tell you 
is that a lot of the people, I think, I think uh, Wabajack has two uh, big uh, groups of people. The first group is people who are brand new to modding and just want a uh, mod list that already has everything for them, which is fine. But then I think there's another group of people who have already modded Skyrim before and want to get back into Skyrim, but don't want to have to start modding from scratch over and over and over again, like they've done a million times in the past. So picking a graphical only mod list is going to give those people a good opportunity to do that. Because honestly, graphical mods probably take some of the most time to install. You got to hunt them all down, see what looks good. Especially if you haven't modded Skyrim in a while. It's uh, You might remember your favorite uh, perk system mods or, and things like that. But you might not know which graphical mods even look good anymore. So this will give you a nice opportunity... Right, Amber Shard Mine. I feel like I'm... There we go. I'm, I'm not used to uh, not having better jumping. So when, I, so when I'm not able to, it kind of catches me off guard sometimes. Anyway, let's just blitz through here. Somebody mentioned, I remember, uh, in Discord, that, uh, ooh, Wooden Staff of Shaming. So this is one of the Creation Club things. Somebody mentioned in a Discord server that uh, there aren't as many first-person animations for Skyrim as there are third-person. But I've always felt that um, first-person combat isn't too bad in vanilla Skyrim. Some of the some of the animations, I do like size matters for like the dagger animations. Maybe even some of the magic animation casting mods. Other than that, I felt like first person combat by van vanilla first person combat in Skyrim is a lot better than the third person vanilla combat. All right. Well, hopefully this video was helpful to you guys. Let me know how Aurora works out for you. Oh, it's very foggy again. How about that? Let's go over to uh, Winterhold. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Now, I really think that we're getting some great options finally for uh, visual only mod lists. We used to be pretty limited a few years back, but now there's a few options to choose from. This being one of them, and this being really nice looking. So hopefully Aurora works out for you guys, and I will catch you guys next time.